Hello everybody and welcome to Red's Outdoors again. I am sorry I'm looking kind of kind of nasty right now. It is hot out here. Um, it's summertime in Texas. What do you expect? Um, anyways, this video, I'm not reviewing a gun here. I'm taking care of an issue. You guys ever had one of these that just decided it didn't want to work anymore? I mean, seriously. <sighs> Granted, it's a few years old. I mean, it's probably, I think, about eight years old. But it died on us right in the middle of mowing the yard. I didn't have time to go get another one today. The next day, I had to go get one, put it together, and then the next day, I had to go get one. Why well, does it take three days? Well, because I work a full-time job, too. So, for like three days, the yard looked really funny because it was right after some rain grass is growing really high we mow it now we have a really funky looking yard so I wanted to send this thing off the proper way in true Reds Outdoors fashion so we're gonna shoot it with three different guns um, I would do more but I don't think it's gonna be able to handle the three and then I got a little bit of a surprise at the end of it that we're gonna do last but first I'm gonna shoot it with a nine which was the EC9C um, that you guys saw earlier, and then or EC9S, I'm sorry, the one that you saw earlier a couple videos ago, and then the Glock 20 um, Gen 4 10 millimeter you guys saw in the last video, and then I'm going to use the Ruger AR556 you guys saw way back. So we're going to send it off in a proper way, just because kind of ticked me off when it stops right in the middle of it engines messed up on it um yeah i probably could have fixed it but by the time i bought the parts and put the time and effort and waited i ended up having a jungle outside to begin with and it just wasn't worth the time and energy for me to do that so we just got a new one but we're going to send it off the right way uh, so the first one ec9s ruger nine millimeter got five rounds in here we're going to launch all five of them at it then we're going to do two of the 10 and then two of the AR. The AR is because I'm going to have a little something special for it. Yes, that's stand by and see. The gun is hot. Here we go. There's the gas cap. Add a little bit. I drained that out. There's probably about that much gas in it, but no tracers and no sparks. So we're pretty much good on that. Let's see if any of them went through. Let's go take a look. Gun is cleared. Now we're getting a little bit of smoke out of that. Let's see if I can see. It's like I got one there. And I know I took that cap off. Let's see on this side, doesn't look like anything has came through at all. Nothing through there at all. So we know a lawnmower engine is bulletproof to a 9 mil, at least out of a smaller 9 mil. Let's jump things up a little bit and go to the 10 mil. Alright, so we're going to use the 10 mil. These are the full metal jackets again. I believe these were, I think these ones are 180 grain. But again, five rounds. See what she's got. See if any of those went through. Okay, so so far I've been kind of impressed. I really thought I'd be doing more damage to this thing, but here we go All right, so we definitely got a hit here There's a little bit more gas in that thing than I thought there was got a hit to the crankcase. It'll show it right there 
can't see down there. It's like I've hit that tank a couple of times. And, ooh, we do have an exit here. Where'd it go in at? Oh, it looks like I came in up here. Yeah, right there. And then came out through here. So we definitely went through the shroud. Ooh, I got an exit right here at the bottom of the crankcase too. So that wasn't there a while ago. So that 10 mil went through that. So we know the 10 mil will go through it. It looks like the only two exits I see. Yep, that looks like it. So... I think I'm going to turn it around. Hey guys, I know this is kind of a different scenery. Everything looks a little bit different. It is months later since we started this video. I thought all the video was lost. Um, just like I said in the last video, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I thought everything was lost, but found out that it was still there. I had to go and find it. It popped up in some weird place. But anyways, I got it. Now we're going to finish this video and see what happens. So you've already seen me shoot it. And I got to go back and watch and see. I mean, this was literally six months ago when I started this one. Um, well, you've seen what I shot it with. I don't even remember anymore. So shoot a couple more things. I now have a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 40 I'm going to hit it with. And then a Taurus GC9. And we hit it with a Taurus TX22. And then I may or may not have something sitting on that that may accidentally end up under it. And we'll see what it does. Sit back, let's watch it. All right. First off, we're going to do the Taurus TX22. I don't expect it to do much. But we'll see. Let's go see if we can see anything at all. All right, now let's step it up a little bit. This is a Taurus G2C. Plan on doing a review on this a little later. This is actually Elena's. Let's see if I can hit it with that. Got a bee buzzing around me. Saw dirt flying up behind it. Obviously it did something. I still got a bee buzzing around me. I don't know if you guys can see him. All right, get away. Next up, Smith & Wesson m and Shield 40. Guess it helps if I chamber it. Oh wow, I can see a hole clean through the back side of this engine. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the other side. Yeah, that's just completely gone. And here's the old damage that was on there from before. And this is all new. All right, you've seen that. I want to finish this thing off and see if I can send it off in a good kind of way. It's really irritating when you spend money on something and it decides it doesn't want to work. Let's send it off right. You guys have seen this one. This is my AR build. I need something supersonic. 
to see if I can help send this thing off the right way. I am not going to be that close to it. I'm going to scoot back there, but I'm going to zoom into this for you. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was expecting it to do. I'm not sure that was quite it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, my other camera got thrown off. It's still recording. That's why you put these things in a case. Look, the lens is covered in mud. I have to see what that footage looks like. We're going to go and turn it off. That's why I have it in a case. Here, I'm going to put that back up. My God, look at this. Actually left a little bit of a crater. Removed all the grass around here. If I get back, you can see there's a spot where the grass is missing. And this thing is bowled out. And I don't know which one of these holes actually hit it. I can see where I was going through and hitting. I guess I was just hitting all around it. I mean, there was smoke coming up. I I didn't, not sure what that was. It might have just been dust flying up. I thought maybe I grazed it and it didn't go off and I just run it. But finally I got a hit that set it off. I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage and see if it got it. I saw this thing airborne. Both the wheels on this side are like, both the tires are like torn off the wheels. And then that's torn up. And then if you look at this thing, Look at the bottom. The whole base of this engine is cracked. I don't even know if it's going to stay on it when I flip it over. And look, this handle came off. Yeah, that handle came off. Um. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that possibly... I think it's had it. I think it's done. I think we sent it off in the best that we could. Right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you haven't watched any other ones, go back and take a look. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.